Go down, go down to yonder town and sit in the gallery and there you'll see sweet Jesus Christ nailed to a big new tree. I like to see something that has like a visible history that you can see and feel that a person has occupied this fabric before and, and I think that that kind of journey is really beautiful. The previous show that I did was heavily based on British folklore so it kind of seemed apt to relate this to the folkloric calendar. Each ritual is, is based at a different time of the year. The song which is in the middle of the show, Hall and Toe, is sung in a, um, a small town in Cornwall called Helston, where they parade through the streets and they take branches of like uh, the local sycamore trees and kind of wear them in their hats and brandish them. I kind of wanted to create a, a feeling in a way of unease and what may happen and it creates kind of very strange, eerie atmosphere when you don't really walk properly. I really like people to be able to engage and to be able to see it for an extended period of time um, rather than just a flash. And really we want half of you on that side and half of you on this side at once. Within this collection I used um, things like Durham quilts which are all stitched by hand. Some of them are as old as kind of 1850s. They can often take up to like four months to, to produce. The yarn is spun by hand and then it's hand woven. It's an incredibly arduous and uh, labour intensive process but the end result is incredible and um, you can see that someone's touched it by hand. It's not just kind of come out of a machine. There's much more love which goes into it. Doing my business like that is kind of is, is essential. It's it's great to kind of show the possibility of what you can do, even like with the with the models not being like anywhere near kind of the average kind of adolescent boy. It's an antithesis to catwalk fashion. Oh, peace, mother, oh, peace, mother, your 